Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're gonna be creating a GPT that books meetings, sends emails. I'm gonna do another cool functionality for it and I'm gonna show you how to actually add any functionality you want into it, okay? So for this, you need make.com and ChatGPT. ChatGPT, you need the plus subscription. And number two, you need make.com, which you can use it for, for free for your three first automations, I believe, with the link in the description. Or you can like pay 10 bucks a month, which is what I do. And it's pretty ch cheap com as compared to Zapier. So uh, ChatGPT has an integration with Zapier, but if you want to get better and produce better and more high quality automations, I would recommend to go over to make that comment and learn that instead. The automations activate with just a simple pr prompt like, hey, can you send an e email to Diego, my email, right? And it's going to go ahead and go to make that com and send that email to my email. And that's basically the automation. Okay, let's hop on the computer and I'll show you guys how to make this GPT. Okay, guys, so this is my AI assistant. This is a GPT I was talking to you about. And we're actually going to test out one of the automations um, I was telling you about, right? I'm going to tell him to send an email. Okay, as you can see, it's starting the action. And the AI assistant is going to actually send an email to my personal email, right? And I'd ask you for, to confirm the action before actually going ahead and proceeding to the hook on make.com. So as you can see in my automations I have right here, this is make.com by the way, I'm actually gonna show you guys how to use it. But yeah, as this is the automation, and let me see the history. Okay, it has just went through less than a second ago. Let me check my email, and yeah. Hey team at Centauri, your AI assistant is here to help. How will deal with this? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to fix the formatting though. Okay guys, so that's basically how the GPT works. You can tell it to create a social media post, do whatever you want with it, and it will actually go ahead and interact with make.com and do it for you, right? And this is not as complex as it looks, but yeah, let's go ahead and create one custom action for your GPT and actually first create your GPT, okay? So no, the first thing you're gonna need to do is actually click on create a GPT and here you're basically just describing what you want the GPT uh, like about, right? If you want it to be your personal assistant, you're just gonna put here, oh, I want you to be my personal assistant. I want to, you to assist me with making social media posts, creating calendar events, whatever, whatever. This is not the actual uh, hard part to do. This is pretty simple to do. Just put the instructions in, how do you want the GPT to act as, as an assistant, you know, as a content manager, whatever you want to do, uh, you can, you can, you can put it right here. You can describe your company, what it's about, whatever. Okay. This is not the important right part right here. Once you go over here and describe everything you want, you will want to come to the part of where it says actions. Okay. And you click that and you can see you will have no coding, of course, because you don't have the, you don't have no coding because you don't have the actual code yet, right? You don't know what to put in here. You're so confused. I was like you when I was starting out. So don't worry about that. So this is the first part, uh, the custom actions. And for this, actually, we want to go to make.com. And I'm going to show you guys how to use it and how to create a custom action and make that come. Okay. So this is make that come. As soon as you log in, you will probably be around here. And the thing is you need to learn about is scenarios, right? Scenarios. Basically, if this happens, this will proceed and this will proceed, right? It's like a basically chain of events that are basically, that's basically automations, change of events that don't, that occur without you being there, okay? So uh, when you start, you need to create a webhook, okay? And you need to create, click, and webhooks. Custom uh, webhook, and like you see right here, uh, you're gonna add a webhook, um, and you're gonna put chat GPT, okay? 
something like that that doesn't matter that's just a name to identify it okay okay once you create the webhook you're gonna click ok and you you don't need to be worrying about that for this example I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be creating a, a document okay document on Google Documents okay I'm gonna be making my GPT create a Google document with information okay um, 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 okay right here you can choose options to do whatever you want and you can put just if you want to send emails you can just put input the the gmail and and set custom instructions for for the for the automation i'm just gonna set create con create a, a document and wait a bit and just leave it blank okay that's okay and now we're gonna go back to chat gpt and we're actually gonna talk to talk to normal chat gpt and we're gonna ask him to and we're gonna ask him to create us the code to actually implement this webhook so that every time we ask the gpt to let's say send an email it activates this webhook it activates this code to send it to make a com so we are actually not going to do any coding at all and that's the beauty of chat gpt that it can help you create more chat gpt so it's incredible i'm gonna do that right now i want to create a gpt that sends box I want to create a GPT that sends Google that create Google Docs with two variables one being the Okay, I created a prompt like this. It should be looking something like this. I want to create a GPT that creates Google Docs with two variables to send in the webhook, one being the title of the doc and one being the content inside. Because if you can see right here, this is the name of the doc and this is the content inside. And that's what you're gonna be uh, getting out of the GPT as a variable to send to the webhook. So, so yeah, guys. Um, and this this is the webhook and you're gonna actually paste the link to the webhook just follow me through and just kept just click copy address to clipboard and go ahead to to paste it in chat gpt Okay, once you have the full code, you're just gonna click copy code and you're gonna go over to ChatGPT and go ahead and to create new action and enter your open AI schema here. You're just gonna click Control B to paste it, okay? And that's it. That's pretty much it, guys. And once you have this, you are pretty much done guys you're gonna go to make.com and cl click ok and you're gonna click return and data structure and you're going to mm, test the action you're gonna create you're gonna tell it to create in this case create a document and it's gonna start the action guys it actually worked 
this actually worked and there's no error okay as you can see starting action um okay guys i ended up actually redoing the code again because it gave me a few flaws but that chat gpt you just gotta try again try again just copy the errors it gives you and make the code again right but it was a few simple errors i i ended up copying the webhook wrong Okay, ChatGPT just ended giving me this response right here. Um, and I'm going to actually copy the code and paste it again into the... And we're going to try it again, guys. We're going to actually tell him to create a doc. And to do that, first, for any automations you're, you're going to do, you have to click the this button and re determine data structure and click right here. Once you click create the doc or send an email or whatever, it's gonna actually start the action like you see right here without no errors this time, I hope. Okay, then we confirm calling HTTP and it actually talked to the hook. So uh, we go here and as you can see, successfully determined. This means we successfully connected JGPT to make.com and you're one step uh, from creating your automations. Okay, so once that's created, you'll have your variables, which are basically things that change and that ChatGPT will send. For example, in this in this case is the doc title and the doc content, right? So this will, once, once you do the, the data structure thing, this will appear right here. Once you click name, uh, that's basically the title and this is a title and for the content this is a content right and you just choose your location in this case i'm just, I'm just going to choose a random folder guys so once you uh, do every setting here on what your action is going to be about this is create a google document but this can be create a social media post on linkedin create a linkedin uh post uh for your facebook page whatever you want just fill out this thing with the, your variables let's say you you have a post and there's a description of the post you just fill this up with the variable like i said and then you're gonna click run once to actually test your automation okay and then we're gonna go ahead and go to chat gpt and tell him to create a document once and for all Okay, create a document about marketing in pandas. That's just, just random. I don't know why, but yeah, create a document about marketing in pandas, starting action. That's what it's doing. It's gonna tell me to confirm the action. A law, of course. Talk to hook.com. Make.com, marketing and pandas, provides an overview of how pandas are used in marketing campaigns. Okay, cool. And as you can see, the automation works, guys. So this is not um, any joke. This actually is pretty efficient. And we can go to our Google Docs. And here it is, marketing and pandas. This is actually pretty fucking insane what the gpt can do and this can be for any action right this can be connected to almost anything look at all these apps right look at all of these apps it can be for whatever app you're thinking of so it's pretty insane as you can marketing in pandas this is a content thing this is a content variable as you can see right here the content variable is right here and that's it all right guys so that's how you create your custom actions and it's a it's a it's a process that you can follow for almost any action and yeah it's a pretty simple webhook send in the variables you just need to verify 
that you're putting the variables correctly, guys, okay? So that's pretty much it once you have your ChatGPT done. Right here, you can click save and click only me because you don't want other people like um, jumping through your actions and it's actually saved. So yeah, you can just name your GPT and click save and you have your GPT right here and you can just ask it to do whatever you want. Guys, I forgot one thing. Once you have your automation ready and that it actually works, don't forget to click on this button right here, which is on, so that every time you get a webhook sent, it actually um, opens a Google Doc. If you click run once, it only gonna it is only gonna wait for one action and close after that. So yeah, just click click on, and it will actually be activated every time it receives a webhook. Okay. Thank you guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you wanna see more content like this, if you like automation, say AI like I do, just subscribe if you want. And please, please make sure to use the make.com link in my description. It will give you a few actions for free. And yeah guys, thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.